it's a new day and uh, time to put some handles on this thing. Now I was going to use some Zebrano which I had a block of and I've cut it on the bandsaw and I've started to sand it down but then I thought well it's a bit posh for an old fashioned sort of butcher's kitchen knife camp knife thing so I found a bit of beach bit of good old fashioned beach it's a bit thick at the moment but yeah I found some beach and I think keeping with the oldy worldy theme that's gonna look awesome let's see if I can drill this if it's soft enough for me to drill at the moment if I make that bigger I can put a bit of a lanyard hole on it I need another hole there for another pin because I want the handle to finish around there so I'm going to need another another hole there <sighs> let's see if it'll drill that's, that's the first thing let's see if it will drill seems hard Next problem, we've got the handle scales on. Can you see the taper from thick to thin there? Well, that fits okay. But also we've got a taper from this way to that way. Which leaves us with gaps down the bottom. You see the tapers both ways? So I've just test fitted the pins that's okay this way that's okay but I'm gonna get on the sander and sand a bit of a taper into the wooden scale material to tilt them in so we can get rid of that gap there because that's diabolical but there you go that's what you get for using an old machete well, I've got it somewhere close. Look at the state of it now. Look how much I've taken off and tapered and messed about. But it doesn't matter. This is not a showpiece. This is an old school knife. So I think it's time for a glue up. to get epoxy off your fingers methylated spirits ground down my handles, <clears throat> pretty much how I want them. Got a bit of 180 grit here and I'm gonna smooth over these edges and refine stuff. Yeah, want a pretty flat handle, old-fashioned handle. I think the beach is actually really good stuff for it. These are uh, uh, brass tubes, I wish they were solid brass but that's all I had little brass lanyard hole there but I'll uh, sand it by hand, refine it a bit and uh, we'll put some Danish oil on it 
five or six coats of that and then we'll take the wrap off the blade and see what we got well there it is <laughs> handles done sanded to 180 that's all don't want it too shiny it's not a show knife it's a old-fashioned beater let's put some Danish oil on it and see what it looks like come on oh, child proof it's idiot proof you ready Ooh, looks exactly the same, only a bit darker. I'm going to try something. Got some dark brown leather dye here. I'm going to put a bit on here with the Danish oil and rub it in and see what it looks like. Well, there it is so far. bit of an old-fashioned handle. I've put a bit of a taper towards the back so that it's, it gives you a bit more grip. It's covered in Danish oil at the moment. It's soaking with Danish oil. Put a bit of leather dye on it as well. So I'll treat this a few times. Then we'll put some vinegar mixture on the metal work here to darken that up a bit. The gaps in the bottom, well, it's all right, makes it look old. You're going to get gaps because this was all rusty along the edge, so that's fine. But yeah. Does it look like an old-fashioned knife to you? Needs a bit of dirt rubbing in here. A bit of hand dirt. You can't really fake that very well. You need to just use it. But yeah. Square handle, square edged, you know, nothing fancy. Pretty comfy. You can choke up on it like that. You could do a bit of chopping with it if you want. You could put a lanyard on it. Patina blade. And I cut up the old sheath. And I put some leather oil on it, leather cream and then I soaked it in water and I flattened it between two pieces of wood I'm going to let that dry and I'm going to make a sheath out of that if this blade's any good it needs sharpening at the moment Blunt. but if it's any good then I'll use the actual sheath the old sheath to make a new sheath even though the leather's cracked and that it doesn't matter this is supposed to look old I want it old. If I use new leather, it's going to look all shiny and lovely. I want the old leather. I'm going to use that as a sheath. I've cut the belt loop. That's the old belt loop cut down because it was like three inches wide. That could go on there. Boom. A sheath. I'll do that in a minute, but we've got to test this, so we've got to sharpen it. Let the oil soak into this properly, sharpen it, try it. See if it holds an edge. If not, it'll be a kitchen knife. It'll be my carbon kitchen knife. Doesn't need to be super sharp for that, doesn't need to take much abuse. Cutting meat, cutting veg. It'll be a kitchen knife. I'll make a wooden block for it to slide into. Old fashioned kitchen knife, use it clean it, slide it back into the block. So yeah, I'm just having fun really. I like making things and this is a new adventure for me, making knives. Pretty sharp. I need to test it on something, something wooden.
Can't see any edge damage. Oh, there's a few hairs. Let's get some paper. Not bad, not bad. It's lost the tiniest bit of sharpness. Other than that, not bad. No marks, no nothing, no shiny bits. Good old British steel. Proper steel, not your Chineseium. Your old fashioned. 70 year old proper steel. You can't beat it. Old steel is better than new steel, in my opinion. It works. Look at my dirty hands. Rubbing this oily handle. Getting some grit into it. Getting some dirt into it. Some elbow grease into it. That's what I like. Make it look old. Yep, it deserves a sheath. Let's make a sheath. Okay, let's make a knife sheath. <coughs> you can probably see in a bit farther back in the videos that I took the original knife sheath, the machete sheath, and I put a bit of leather cream on it to soften it a touch. And I soaked it in water and I pressed it between two pieces of wood to flatten it. I know it's all cracked, but I want to use it. Uh, it doesn't matter. It, I want it to look old. I'm going to try and use as much of the old sheath as I can. You've got these copper rivets here. I might be able to get them to work. There might be enough to reuse them. Enough length on the posts. But if not, i got loads anyway. There's an old Chicago Chicago screw there. Um, that was the original strap. Look at it though. It's a bit knackered. I don't know if I can reuse that. I don't know if that post will be long enough, but perhaps, perhaps. I just want to make everything from what I've got here. Make it old, it's all old. Doesn't matter, it's just a bit of a practice play knife. In fact, I love this knife. I engraved a hair on it. <laughs> I'm thinking of putting a hair on all my knives, get a get a proper stamp made. I've been using this in the kitchen. I've been cutting bagels with it, buttering bread, slicing up sandwiches, all sorts of things, and I, I love it. It's a great knife for what it is. I've even distressed the handle a bit, put some age marks in it and messed about with it and rubbed some dirt into it to make it to make it look I want it to look old. I want it to look like this knife's been around been in use for 60, 80 years. Like your great grandmother's kitchen knife. So yeah. Uh, I won't talk during this part of the video because I witter on too much. I'll just put some footage and cut it up into a short bit of the video. But yeah. You've all seen sheets being made before, so let's make one.
there it is all done bit of an old sheath for it old looking copper rivets old leather all cracked goes with the old stuff I managed to get that Sam Brown off the old one I managed to peen over the back a little bit a bit a lot of messing about but we managed to do it there's the knife old looking knife old looking sheath jobs are good one. hope you like it I do I'm probably going to use it in the kitchen probably going to use it in the kitchen more than anything but as I started to make a sheath I thought let's just finish it rough and ready old school job done see you next time